Uh, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following uh, problem-solving data analysis question can be a bit difficult. Remember that uh, the money spent here is going to be um, spent for the totality of the pencils in each of the, um, I guess, plotted x values here. So let's go ahead and do this together. We're told that um, we're looking for the number of pencils that you can purchase if the budget is five dollars so we have a limit of five dollars and the cost per pencil is the same as when it was 35 as when 35 pencils were purchased so 35 pencils were purchased here between 30 and 40 um, for three dollars so we can set a ratio here where three dollars is going to be uh, how much it costs to get 35 pencils and it's going to be um, and this ratio is going to hold true also for however many pencils we can get with, whoops, that should be a dollar sign, with $5 at that same price. So all we have to do now is just solve for the number of pencils we would get for $5 at the same rate. So that would be uh, cross-multiplying. 35 times 5 should give you 175, and that divided by 3 is going to give you... Uh, if you plug this into your calculator, something like 58.3. Uh, and that is going to mean that you can't buy more than 58. You can buy up to 58 pencils, which is answer choice D. I hope that that helped with this problem, and happy prepping.